So I've tried recording this video like three or four times. I shouldn't have mentioned the A word. Because I think that's what's happening. They're coming in reality and fucking stuff. But I'm reading how Google works. It's a phenomenal book. Gives you a lot of insight, perspective. And if you're on the mindset of self-development, improving yourself, if you're familiar with Law of Attraction, um, Law of Prosperity, the 11 Hermetic Laws, as above, so below, as a beneath me, so above me, and all that, as within, so without, as without, so within. So if you're creating this world inside of you, it's gonna manifest out here. Don't let this outside world influence the inside, right? You get fucked up that way. It took me a long time. I was in prison for a minute, and it's that learning that stuff and actually developing who I was and listening to that guide on the inside allowed me to be who I am today and constantly keep testing boundaries. I thrive in environments where I'm challenged. Like, where I gotta make decisions, I gotta keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I can't work in the place for very long. I only do a job, I'm in the union, that's why. I only do a job for like 30, 40 days and I'm out, I can't do it. I can't be there. I'm, I'm only supposed to be going here and there because there's places and environments that I gotta do something in but maybe just being there makes that environment better or it teaches me something. See, everything's a give and a take. Everything's mutually using each other. But that's networking, that's business, that's how the world runs, right? So I'm reading this book. I'm in a tight spot. Oh, well, not anymore, it got solved. I'm still kind of in a tight spot, so it's pushing me more and more. I mean, my bank accounts are negative. I can't make payroll this week. I haven't been able to make payroll last week. Um, my website shut down. Pretty much everything's at a standstill right now because I allowed an individual to entertain my reality and I was pretty much providing all financial means and at the same time, it wasn't a team effort. It wasn't this, that, and the other because simply if you can't wake up and be excited about hustling that day and you're just, and I have no money, I gotta pay my bills, I need money. Well, if you keep saying you need money, you're going to create a reality that you constantly need money in, right? That's just how it works. That's the laws. I didn't make them. I just follow them, right? But uh, So I'm in a tight spot, and I was reading. Finally got back into this. And what did it say? I ain't learning it. So she was talking about mindset growth. And we call them learning animals. The question can be adapted to big events or recent events. And I read it. And it was mind blowing. Okay, so. Uh, growth mindset. If you believe that the qualities defining you are carved in stone, you would be stuck in trying to prove them over and over again, regardless of the circumstances. But if you have a growth mindset, you believe the qualities that define you can be modified and cultivated through effort. You can change yourself, you can adapt. In fact, you are more comfortable and do better when you are forced to do so. Like, throughout my experience and my traveling and developing myself into the ideal individual that I want to be, and I've seen myself in my head since I was a kid, since I've been on this planet, I've known what I was here to do, I just keep getting sidetracked. Kind of like Tesla, every time I study some Tesla, he had the same issue where, He's doing his thing and then he needs money, he needs financed. It's, and then he gets taken off. He gets put on this project and somebody else tells me to get this idea. Like I wanna do microgreens, I go to Columbia, Missouri. And next thing I know I'm doing clean fleets and microgreens is kinda of on the back burner. Oh wait, we gotta get microgreens back in there because that's what I came out here to do. I didn't come out here to do clean fleets. Yeah, it's a great idea. I don't have a problem putting some time and energy in it and using my system that I already built with fucking payroll, accounting, website, all that stuff. I don't have a problem using that platform to do it. But I still got to do the microgreens, what I came out there to do. Well, we weren't doing that now in Iowa because I needed money because microgreens are supposed to be pushing that money. And then the individual that I had partnered up with, a female, she constantly every day woke up bitching and complaining. That don't work. You know, but uh, Dweck's experiment shows that your mindset can set in motion a whole chain of thoughts and behaviors. If you think your abilities are fixed, you'll set for yourself what she calls performance goals to maintain that self-image. But if you have a growth mindset, you'll set learning goals. You know, just from my own personal experience, I'm constantly learning and I find myself, you know, I noticed this when I was in prison, 
if I wasn't learning something constantly, my brain, it would get like this stupid fog. That's all I called it. I was going stupid because my whole environment, hey, not very many people in there were there to improve themselves, better themselves, and never come back to that motherfucker. They were comfortable being there. So they didn't read, they didn't study, they didn't, you know, do anything. And that being around that constantly will influence you. That's where it comes from the outside influencing the in. Nah, you gotta be so confident and so powerful on the inside that you're pushing it out here. And the only way you get that is by developing yourself, by doing the things, by going up the mountain. You know, we've all heard old allegories and cliche experiences about this. We've heard Bob Proctor, I'm sure, Earl Nightingale, maybe uh, E the Hip Hop Preacher. You've seen Tony Robbins because he's marketing the f out of everything. You see Brandon Picard. Um, you know, all these individuals, they all got the same message. They're just preaching a little different, right? Some of them are changing, some of them are flipping them up, but they all want that motherfucking dollar. So, fuck that shit. <clears throat> but, um, goals that drive you to take risk without worrying so much about how, for example, a dumb question or a wrong answer will make you look. Yeah, you never worry about what other people think because, hey, guess what? Most people ain't even think. Right. right? Right? Oh, I might be wrong, though. I you know, once I thought I was wrong and I was mistaken. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you, uh, Coney Island and Fort Wayne on Main Street. It's like the best plaque. It's one of my favorite places to eat, too. It's so chill to give you a coat. They got these burgers in there that are marinated. I don't really eat a whole lot of meat anymore. I'm staying away from it, but... You won't care because you're a learning animal, and in the long run, you'll learn more and scale greater risks. Like, everything I do, I understand there's a, there's a major risk. Like, it's a major risk to have all my property be on the road and put it in the well-being of my... Well, I don't, never put my well-being in the hands of no, another person at all because I'm always doing... You know, you know, I don't need to explain it. It is what it is. And uh, so when all that happened, here I am, high risk. Again, hey, every time I face a high risk, I know there's a high reward at the end of it. I know this from experience because I'm working towards a goal that is so massive and that is so insane pretty much my whole life everybody said I wasn't going to be able to do it it'll never happen you'll have to overcome this you'll have to overcome that you'll have to well it's happening hey motherfucking hemp's legal now I don't know if I did that directly but I know I did I put everything I had into it because I know and oh yeah that's another thing it said hire people that don't use the p word and passionate okay fine marker of a smart creative is passion they care so how do you figure out if a person is truly passionate since truly passionate people don't often use the p word i relate with that that resonates i know that's true right in our experience a lot of job candidates have figured out that passion as they saw it after trade you can you can smell fake when you, when you see it. it just you know it game recognizes game hey game also recognizes fake um when some, that, you can't bullshit a busher, bullshitter, that's another cliche. When someone begins a sentence with the conspicuously obvious phrase, I'm passionate about. And then they talk about meaningless shit like football, travel, and family. Yeah, I mean, family's not meaningless. Everybody's got their thing. But that shit, that's a given. You should already be passionate about your motherfucking family. That's everybody should be on that same level. And hey, they're in. And it's crazy that people got to mention it because it tells you the state of humanity. Right? We do it to ourselves. We're always telling on ourselves. And then proceeds to talk about, oh yeah, that's a red flag that maybe his only true passion is for conspicuously throwing the word passion around a lot during interviews. I like the way of this individual who did write this. Eric Schmidt and Jonathan Rosenberg with Alan Eagle Ford by Larry Page. Yeah. So yeah, the people who do Google, I guess, wrote this. But I, I like that with. That's pretty dope. But I just want, it's kind of a reminder, like, no matter what you're doing, I know you've heard it. Just keep pushing it. But when you're having those mind, when things are challenging and not going according to your plan, remember, you're the director, not everything goes according to plan. So you have to be adaptive. You have to be multifunctional. And you have to have the ability to consciously make quick decisions. 
I don't know if I brought this up yet, but Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich, said a characteristic and quality that all successful people carry is their ability to make a decision quick and, ne and not change it. Successful people make a decision fast, and they very, I mean, if they do change it, I don't know. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But they don't, they're not like, oh, well, I don't know what I want to eat. 30 minutes later, I still don't know what I want to eat. And then they make an order, and then they don't want that. And then, you know, they're just never satisfied is what that told me. But they usually are not on the goal check mark like knocking shit off the list type lifestyle mindset that growth mindset constantly learning constantly improving yourself and just going hard in the paint all day you know what i mean when you wake up you should be like boom i'm here to get it done bitch you know this shit actually even talking about this shit gets me amped up gets me excited i was talking to scott about it and then i noticed when i was out hanging out with uh my work partner i'm moving I got things to do. He's not in that mode. All right, bro, I don't want to be rude, but I got to go. I got to do this, I got to do that. You know, and me standing here is keeping me from reading, and keeping me from making videos. It's keeping me, like, you know, I had to cook some food. I had to clean up my room. It's keeping me from doing those things. So, I got to keep moving. And then I got to post some ads on Craigslist because I'm gonna hustle up some money. I got a goal to meet by the night at midnight well the only way i'm gonna get there is by getting on my motherfucking grind and pushing it and i'm gonna have to spend i only i got a loan finally from i had i asked my uh foreman whatever you know i was like yo you know she drug up on the job cool hey yo so this is what it is i'm stranded here i got all my shit here i gotta come up with 50 dollars every day to stay in my room <clears throat> it'd be a way more beneficial and it wouldn't it just helped me out a lot if I could just pay the 250 and I could save my money. Well, then I got a sale on uh, PayPal. Boom, I had some money. It was a little bit over what I needed to pay for my room. So it was already coming, but he went ahead and hooked me up. Now my room's paid for it. Now I want to prove something to myself. So I have a goal to meet by Monday when I go into work. So I want to hand him his money back, right? Then I don't have to pay him out of my check. Well, then I'm going to keep that momentum going. I'm going to do it because I got to. And maybe that's why I'm in this position because I was slacking off in the first place. And I needed to go broke. So my money consciousness kicked back in and said, yo, bro, you got to keep that money rolling. When you're going to the ATM three or four times a day, pulling out two to $300. And you do that <laughs> consistently for a month and a half. Yeah, eventually, if you're not bringing that money in, it's going to go gone. So that just tells you a little bit of idea about what I was doing, how much I was doing. I help a lot of people out. I'm big into philanthropy. You know, I like paying people's bills. I like giving them ideas and uh, encouragement to figure out ways to pay their own bills and take care of them own selves. It's all a decision. And I learned on this path in order for me to be truly sovereign, in order for me to be truly secure party creditor, I had to do things on my own, with my own tools, with my own knowledge, with my own network, and I got to do it. I can't let nobody else do it because I ain't going to get it then, right? So I learned that. And I don't mean to be like, all oh, I and me, but sometimes we got to be, right? If I'm out helping everybody else and not helping myself, eventually I'm going to wear out. Eventually I'm going to run out. And eventually I'll be unsuccessful and unable to help out the people that I have a passion to do it for. Or passion is the word that I am on this planet to do. That's what I'm here to do. I know that. I'm born August 25th. So you can throw all that stuff in there too. At 8 a.m. in the morning, 1986. I know a little bit about myself just from my own insights. And I encourage everybody else to get there, you know. But I, I know... You can only talk so much about, hey, yeah, you gotta meditate. Well, how do I do that? I don't know, man. You just gotta do it. I had to learn it. Oh, you're just lucky. Man, get, miss me with that fucking luck shit. Straight up, miss me with that luck shit. Yeah, I'm lucky I was sleeping on a bench. I know I'm lucky I didn't get frostbit. I know I'm lucky this month, this lady one day, I went in to get cash out of my ATM. All these things came out of my account. And I was kind of stuck in the middle of Illinois. 
hey, I'm lucky, I know, that because she paid for my gas and the coffee that I was getting ready to get. You know, I got to the counter and went to swipe, and I'm like, oh, went to go check my phone. And, you know, boom. That's not luck to me, though. That's not like I'm entitled to it, but I kind of am. I've been, I'm a, I'm a hustler, I'm a pusher. And I ain't hustling nothing bad. I'm only here on this planet to create a, a world of benefit. That's why I got worldofbenefit.com. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And I've been doing it. So just, you know, challenges, challenges, obstacles. If you ain't constantly getting challenged, you ain't gonna reach it. So just remember that. If you are getting complacent and things aren't challenging anymore, you gotta switch something up because you ain't gonna thrive. You ain't gonna get to that goal anymore. Or maybe you got to that goal and you got comfortable. I don't, you know, I don't know. Each to his own. We all have our own path, our own journey. Well, I hope y'all enjoy your weekend. Uh, yep, subscribe, follow me on whatever. I'm working, you know. I'm going to do a video every day and talk about some crazy shit. So that means I got to stay on my grind, right? That means I got to stay on my, on my hassle. I got to constantly remind myself. And I know that about myself. But every time I start slacking off and I, things ain't going right, I remind back, what was I doing in prison that I was so successful? Because I made it through prison, young, sexy as fuck, and white, and I ain't had no motherfucking problems. I didn't get junk, wasn't nobody raping me, wasn't nobody trying to rob me, but I got a different kind of mentality, I got a different character, I got a different aura, I got a different vibe, I've been doing this thing, you know, since I came to this planet, ain't nobody taking me, ain't nobody getting mine, that's mine. Whatever's due to me is due to me, whatever's due to them is due to them. We start getting fucked up when we start taking what's ain't, what ain't ours. And you're only going to get what you got to get coming, right? You can find that in the Quran. You can find that in Buddhism. You can find that in the works of Jesus, even though they all all this stuff's been adulterated. That's why they finally admitted that they found uh, a transcript of a Quran by Ali. And they may have it in its original form. Ali was Muhammad's right-hand man. It's just interesting the things you learn. As you're going, you know, you can't always follow the blind because the blind, where are they going to go? <laughs> oh, I got them for days. Stay tuned if you like it, you know. Share it up with your friends if you like the humor, the negativity, or the aspect of you bitching about something I'm saying or disagreeing with it. That's cool, man. Maybe you have more insight than me. Maybe you have more experience. Maybe you have more grind. Maybe you have more hustle. That's cool. I'm at my level, and maybe you aren't, or maybe I, you know, I can't speak on your behalf. But I know, like, anything that's not encouraging, anything that's to the ill, we know what you are. You just here to suck the life out of things. You ain't here to create nothing. So on that aspect, peace and blessings be to you. You can stay out. I wish you whatever you wish me. But for everybody else, love, light, you know, I like. I don't like. So they figured Debbie been in the village. Y'all enjoy it. Take care.